to see how to create a custom UI button with round corner radius so that you can create a single file which has this reusable code and then you can use the use that class across your application instead of going and setting those corner radius for each and every button throughout your application so to do that create a single view application let the application name as round cornered button let it be like this click next just wait for a moment to let's go to set up the project So once the application is ready, so let's try to run this application in any of the simulator. Xcode is building the application now. simulated to launch and this is what we have right because our main user interface doesn't have any control in it so let's go and add a button So you can bring this window using this plus icon also when you click that this dialog will come and then select UI button drag and drop it in the user interface. Height and width for this button. So width is going to be 100 for example and height is going to be 44. And then I want to center it in my user interface and set some background color for the button. Like this, and then change the text color to white. So if you run this application so we have a button like this so I'm going to add one more button okay listen before I'm going to add one more button I want to make the corners as rounded one so to do that I can do it in two different ways one is going to the this tab identity inspector and then add the key path like layer dot corner radius set its type to number and then set the value to 5 be the radius and then flips to bounce to boolean and then set the value to true now run the application if you, if you look at the simulator now it doesn't have any round corner radius now run the application see the corner so those are all neatly rounded right so let's go and add one more button I'm going to do the same thing 
drag a button to the user interface set width and height as 100 and 44 and center horizontal it and then just keep it down the main button so let it be 30 for example and now change the background to something else and then set the text color to white and to make this button to have round corner radius what you have to do is again you have to do and do the same thing what you have done for the first button layer dot corner radius type as number and then value as 5 and then clips to bound true and if you run the application now it is rounded but the problem here is in case if you want to add f n number of buttons in your user interface then you have to keep on doing these things for each and every button which will consume a lot of time for you so to avoid that i'm going to create a new class called um, rounded button and which will extend ui button Okay, and now since I am going to use this cla class in my storyboard, I want to mark this class as a IB designable. So, and then I want to override, like set the corner radius, right? So the properties which you want to override or you want to set for this custom button you have to mark those properties as ib inspectable so at ib inspectable where um, corner radius um, int initially zero and then let's set the layer dot corner radius to this corner radius And since this corner radius is float one, so let's keep this in data type of this corner radius. Our corner radius variable as cg float. And then set layer dot clip. Sorry. Clips to bounds equal to true. That's it. Now come to our main dot storyboard. delete these things set the class to rounded button and then if you come to the attribute inspector you will find a custom property here which we set which we have in that class corner radius set it to 5 and then do the same thing for this delete these two set the round corner button and now for this button i want to set the round corner radius as 7 so let's run the application so in this way you can set whatever radius you want for every buttons you want to use across your application you don't have to go and put all those layer corner radius and then clips to bound for each and every button there.
so i hope this tutorial will help you to save some some of your time when building the buttons across your applications thanks for watching and if you like it you can hit the subscribe button there